Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I don't know what I'm going to call this video. Uh, it's kind of a twisted circle. If we make the uh, hairline a little more thicker, it'll actually maybe appear it better. I might even uh, go a little further on the next video if I make another video. We're going to nudge this guy out of the way. We And you can change your sizes. And do whatever you want. I'm going to make a 12 inch. Hit P. Make another ellipse. Make it 8 inch. Hit P. Select both these and hit R. Like Robert or Wright. Control D and make a duplicate. And then shift select the outside circle and hit L for left. We're going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete this line. There's our shape. We need that shape. I, from now on, am not going to move anything, but with the nudge keys, very important. Control D and make a duplicate. I am going to left click, right click. Left click, right click. I am going to take the shape tool. Well, yeah, and I'm going to select these two outer nodes of the tips. I'm going to right click and break them apart. The easiest way to get the individual lines would be to make a duplicate and move it over. Get your virtual segment delete key and delete. See how the indexing line is stopping it from doing it. Delete the inside on that one and the out. The out so you'll have the outside inside. So now when we put them back, we still got our shape, but we got two different objects. We want to keep this shape for just a minute. Now, remember 14 inches, I'm going to change it to 0.1. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to arrow key down and arrow key right. And then I'm going to control D till all the spots are filled. Then I'm going to take the entire thing and group it. Then I'm going to bring this back. Whoop, I moved it one time. I'm going to move it back. I'm going to change my nudge to 14 and move it back. Now it's in the back of the page. We need it in the front of the page. So I'm going to go order front of page. I want to cover up those lines. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to intersect it. Intersecting gave me that. And you could do a lot with this, but I'm going to nudge it right back. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate and move the center rotation to the center. Sometimes it doesn't look like it is, but it is. And then I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. It's not the best thing in the world, but it does look like it's twisted. And you could, you know, go a little further and make your something other than a hairline, and it'll, uh, wherever the lines are so close together, they just kind of blend in. So it looks like a twisted. I might take this a little bit further and do something with another video just to see how it looks. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.